Yo, what up, what up? Welcome back. I'm your host, B Riders, co host, J Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Thoughts. We brought our homeboy Lou here once again. Yes, sir. Today's topic is the black business experience. Let's check it out. I don't want anyone supporting Ray because Ray is black. I want people supporting Ray because Ray is excellent. And the reality is, is that the black people have the worst customer service in the motherfucking world. And you can say that you don't agree with that because I'm going to why. If we get our customer service better, we'll make more business. Bottom line. So you can say whatever you want. When you go to the Chinese restaurant, they nice to you. They, hey, Ray, how you doing today? No, they just as mean. Hey, so I don't go to fucking Chinese restaurants. All right, but you know what I'm saying, Ray. Like, I don't stop. go. We can yell. I'm you speaking yelling, for don't Ray. Make your point I'm speaking for Ray. Ray. At the end of the day, Asians don't sit there and say, hey, your customer service has to be perfect. Your product has to be A1 before I support you. They support you. I spend you. half a million dollars a year on bullshit, bro. And I love spending money. And the reason why I don't spend with black establishments like that, because they got fucked up attitudes. They don't even give you a smile. They don't even say, hello, how you doing, man? I take your order. But I'm supposed to keep spending with them because they look like me? That. The rich are gonna, the, the rich are the people that are gonna rise to the top, the people that understand what it takes to win. Not the people that feel like you should let me win because they let them win. That's not how you win. And my thing is a black man that has made millions of dollars and want to see other black people make millions mm -hmm. of dollars. I know the one thing that's a difference is the fucking attitude. That's why I yell. Because the attitude is the difference. And if you fix your attitude, everything else will follow. But you think, well, they ain't gotta fix their attitude. Well, we ain't them. We ain't them. Because if we was them, we would be where they are. We are us. And the thing that's holding us back is we don't treat each other with respect. We don't treat each other like we're thankful. So. Uh, what you did you say, Justin? He was passionate? He was very passionate <laughs> about his point. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was going to get it, get it across. Oh, like. yeah. Regardless <laughs> of being regardless. Right. He, he, yeah. They must have had an argument or something beforehand. Yeah, he was like, I didn't watch the, the whole thing, so I'm like, yeah, you talk to why you, why you a customer service guy? Right. Right. We got you. <laughs> Dang, respect. Where's the respect? Uh, on the real, but he he was making some uh, some pretty good points. Uh, oh no, 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 I think so. I think he has a he has some good points, and he has some that was a Not little so. yeah. If. So. I think he had a point when he was saying uh, that he didn't want anybody to support him because he's black. He wanted to support him because he's excellent. And I think when you're on that level, yeah, I think for sure. I would, I, I would feel the same way. I want you to support me because I'm good at what I do, not because of some kind of, you know, pity or anything like that, anything adjacent to what I'm doing. I feel yeah. differently. Wrong, sir. Wrong. What you got? I start off with, like, I want to see everybody black winning. Mm -hmm. So if you black and doing something, I'm going to support you. Now, you need to be open up, uh, uh, open to critique. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think that you can become excellent or better than what you are yeah. if you open up yourself to other people's um opinions about what you do mm. and then you kind of like shape your um the way you move going forward to cater to the things that you think would be a positive change for your business but the first time i see a black face i'm like what's happening cousin what's up? you know what i'm saying i'm like what's happening yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's where i'm at with it yeah. so you might not be excellent at that moment right but i'm gonna give you this capital so you can become okay. excellent Right. So that's where I'm at uh -huh. with it. My initial thoughts. I feel like it's a lot of um, secular things happening. Oh, he got bar bars. Because I feel like, and he made a point of like, black, the business themselves being, you know, not the best or whatever for his uh, customer service. Yeah. But if we're being honest, can I say niggas on here? Nigga, no. Niggas be treating niggas like niggas. And it's just like you gonna I, I as a customer go in there, go into the black business, and so come like the Chris Rock he's like ten dollars. Let me get why don't you let me get a sip for fifteen cents? It's like we expect a deal because we're in a black establishment. Mm -hmm. And we don't treat black businesses like we treat white businesses. And then we just like it's not fair they don't treat us the way white people do. But it's like, well no, you don't treat us like you know, I guess ultimately it's the responsibility of the person providing the service mm -hmm. to I guess leave with that. 
But let's not act like black people go into black businesses with the utmost respect and professionalism. I don't be a Negro, be my nigga. All right, help me out. Well, smiling as well, or you know what I'm saying, being necessarily nice yeah. all the time. Like, let's not pretend like, like, like that, that, that's what's happening, because it's not. So you're saying it's more of a two-way street? Where it's definitely a two-way street. Your business might be doing the best it can, but then you have customers, patrons that come in and treat your business like it's not excellent. Right. I think that there's a word. Internal, it's like an internalized racism. You know, we see ourselves through the same lens of white supremacy as the rest of the world does. So we are going in there like, we're already going in with lower expectation. Like, we can't, I can't open up a ticket business and have Chick-fil-A prices. I'm not Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. And if my prices are Chick-fil-A, it's like, why your prices are so high? I'm not coming in. But, like, but you haven't even given it a, give uh, a chance. Yeah, yeah. So you come in there, with, you, you're coming with a negative attitude, and now I have a negative attitude. Of course, again. See, now you found yourself a nigga. As the person who's providing the service, running the business, yeah, no, 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 no. I have to be the more professional person, or I, or I should be. Yeah, yeah. But y'all making it easy for us, to do, for us to do that. That's true. That's true. I think there's a uh, there's a middle ground to be had in this, in that I don't have a problem with supporting a black business starting out, getting getting your legs under you because you're black, right? Now, I want you to be excellent after that. I think it is incumbent upon the individual going to make that judgment call after the fact. So if you go to a, a you patron a black business because it's black and you're trying this new food or this new establishment or whatever they got. And let's say the experience is good or decent. Well then, yeah, you should come back and help out and do things like that. I don't have a problem with any of that. But if that business is performing poorly, I don't think it is incumbent on you to return after that. I think you've done your part. Mm -hmm. Just by showing up and saying, well, let me give this a shot. If you don't enjoy it after that, I think you should be able to just be like, I ain't coming back. That's right. That's good. Can I, can I ask a question, B? Yeah. Um, because you're an author. You're correct, sir. Right, and you've written a book, and you're yep. putting so in a way, and that's a service in, in a lot of ways. Yep, yep. Um, do you care if people buy it because you're black? Got them. We fucking got them. <laughs> do I care? Uh, they haven't. They have no reference about your writing or who you are as a right, person. Right, 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 so right. some there may be people. I'm not saying it's the case. Yeah. yeah there may yeah. have been people who was like, oh, this black, like you know, they're in science fiction. Like, oh, black is science fiction. I'm buying it because it's black person in science fiction. Right. Right, right, right. Um, so like, do you care about that kind of thing? And then would you, feel like, or, or would you like, or hope, or would you care about this? They didn't care about the second, first book, but right. bought the second book whenever it comes out. Mm -hmm. Get out. Um, because you're black. Like yeah. I wasn't really a fan of the first book. Not really my thing. Right, 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 right. But you know what? I want to support this black author, mm -hmm. this black man, this black person doing who's doing something that I love. But I'm only doing it because you're black. Like, would you care? Would you feel any kind of way? Uh, for the personal decision of doing it, it's like I don't really care too much why you're buying it, why you're purchasing purchasing the book. You know what I mean? Money, money, <laughs> But absolutely. Also, uh, <laughs> for me, it is important to stand out and to be different from. Uh, my peers or whatnot, and also to provide an entertaining experience for the audience. Mm -hmm. So, if you bought the first book because this is a young black author doing his thing, I'm a I'm a show love. I'm perfectly fine with that. If you don't enjoy the book and you buy the second one, then I'm kind of like, mm. but would you know? Are they gonna tell you? Yeah, right. like exactly. That's why. That's that's why part of me is like, I don't really care because I'm not really gonna know. Right. But if I could know, I would be like, you're supporting something that you aren't really a fan of, which is noble. It's an admirable thing. But I would prefer that you supported something that you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? It's cool that you're supporting a black person because they're black, because of whatever. And I'm cool with that. For me personally, I want you to like it and support it because you do like it. Right. And that's just me personally. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm not going to know. 
Mm. So that's really on everybody else, you know. One of my um, critiques about like black businesses, and obviously I'm very pro-black, right? I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all. My problem is that we don't provide all of the services that gets us to stand out. Like you said, yeah, you yeah. want us to stand out, right? Yeah, yeah. Or the person to stand out. True. So, like an example that's in a video where he said that they they only just do nails, like you know, yeah, they and don't they do don't feet. they don't touch feet. Yeah, and it's like, well, <laughs> do you go to just get nails and then go to the Asians yeah. to get your feet done? <laughs> it's like you should provide everything. You, should, you it should be everything, right? Because the Asians do all of it. Yeah. You know, you see them on their knees and they scrubbing the feet and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Chipping, you know, clipping the uh, toenails, filing, all of that kind of stuff. Why y'all can't do that too? Thank you. You're going to get the, you can get more business yeah. by doing that. Right. People are actively skipping you because you don't offer it. Like in New Orleans, we got gas stations that obviously has gas. Right. It has food, right. drinks, <laughs> liquor. You get everything. You get everything. Right. <laughs> Cash your check, all that. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's and it's mostly from like uh, the Middle Eastern people. They they yeah. own most of the gas stations here mm -hmm. here in New Orleans. They understand that they want you to come here as a all one stop money. shop. It's fit all your money. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Why we can't do that? We could do that, but we just nah. I just want. Yeah, yeah, I just want just do just this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a problem with that. So what 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 did we disagree with what he said in there? I one thing I I kind of kind of disagree with is the attitude part he was talking about with black businesses specifically. I don't think black business owners have bad attitudes. I think that the employees of mm. certain businesses mm -hmm. who happen to be black have bad attitudes. I think that's the difference. Mm -hmm. I think Popeye's employees have fucking terrible that's attitudes. That's not black people. I that's not that. black people. But yeah, most Popeye's are in predominantly black that's neighborhoods. Right. And, but then they're also hiring in those neighborhoods, though. Exactly. So you're going to get people Which who why. may not have the best dispositions yeah. because of where they are. Right. And I think we make the mistake sometimes of trying to make those two things coincide with mm -hmm. each other when they mm -hmm. don't because it's not a black person who owns the Popeyes that has a bad attitude. It's the people who work there, whether they're black or not, a lot of times. So do you not feel it's the job, yeah. it's, it's the responsibility of the owner to hire people who are gonna have better attitudes? No, 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 that pause, bro! <laughs> Bro, that's a that's that's a, that's that's, that's, a, that's, 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 that's a tough one. Devil's advocate. Yeah, I you mean, can, for you, sure. There's an argument there. Though. If yeah. you in the projects and you got a church's chicken, you're gonna get people who are yeah. from the projects right. that's going to work your at church's chicken. Yeah, but you don't. You you're, you're not gonna you're, have. Uh, I can hire somebody out the east if LSU I want to. Students. I could. I could. Maybe I'm just you, saying. Like I choose could. who I employ. You could, but who are you most likely to employ? No, no. He's got a point. The best person for the job. Come on, son! Which is going to no. come from the area. <laughs> the best person that, in the area. Yeah. Well, that, 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 that applies. That applies. That applies. Yeah. So the pool well, that you yeah, have obviously. to hire is, is relegated to where you are a lot of the time. Right. A lot of the time. That's a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, right. That's so my part. You can be... Like you said, in the hood with a church's chicken, more than likely the people who work at that church's chicken are gonna be from, from the hood. Yeah. You know. So it is definitely incumbent upon the manager or the owner to facilitate hiring the best people possible. But at the same time, that depends on who the owner is. Because a lot of these places they are about making a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know. It's not about getting the best person for the job. It's about getting a person who will accept what well, I'm body. Yeah. So if that's your, that's what that, that's your business acumen, and that's what you're going for, and that's what you're trying to do, it's gonna reflect in your establishment. You hire ain't shit people, they ain't gonna be shit. You're a freaking genius, you idiot. 
You know that when you hire them too. I didn't like the generalization of black women as having attitudes, but that's just me and my. I did hear him say that, and then he said, "And a lot of black, black people. people." Like who else do you? You must mean black like, men. Uh, you must mean men because it's only a lot of black women. Do that. Why did he do that? I think he said that, and then he just cleaning it up afterwards. Which is and a lot of and black people. All right. I was like, "All right." Do you All mean right. black men? Because yes, he didn't say men. Nah, he, he meant women. Other, you had no, other he black meant, people. He meant women. He meant specifically women. Black women. Sure. Yes. So you think only about nail shops still? Like what was that? That that, he, that didn't. I was, was. Yeah, he was trying to clean it up after the fact. Back for sure. Yeah, like I mean, you know. You people, know what I mean? People, people. The good people. But on, you on know what sides. I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, go ahead. <laughs> just, just say that you feel that way about black women. I, you know. That's what he meant. That's for sure what he meant. All right, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but was there anything else y'all disagree with what he said about that? Because he was throwing some, throwing some shots out there. You know. I think. Go ahead. No, no, no. You got that. I kind of like yeah. to your point about the whole supporting excellence, which is which is nice. Yeah. Uh, really, J Cole, you gotta give a child, a man, a boy, a chance to grow something. Like, I'm not gonna start out, you know, great, mm. right? Yeah. And if without your support, I won't get to be great. Absolutely. So you came. You came in first. Open the store. Uh, the chicken wasn't. The recipe wasn't right. Or you know something like that. So now you're never gonna come back. Mm. Ever. That's some cold shit. Yeah. Ain't that cool? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. cool. <laughs> so you gotta give. You know, you can't just give them grace. Give them yeah. grace. Thank you, Justin. Mm. That's what I look for. Mm. Give them so, grace. so do if you've gone to a restaurant and you had a bad experience. Do you give them grace just for the sake of it, or do you think that you you would give them grace because they're a black establishment, or how does that work? If you go a second time and it's a little better, but not really, not really your your vibe. I would have to be in a, a situation like I'd have to know yeah. like it's definitely what what was it specifically that wasn't yeah. better. Was it the the waiter or waitress that wasn't better? Uh-huh. Was it the right. food? Like, I would have to figure right. out which one of, because the the waitress or waiter could have been subpar, mm-hmm. but the food could have been great. Right. Now they could have made it a bad experience by not refilling my drink or checking on the table, you mm-hmm. know, all that kind of stuff. That's but the food was great. Right. So I just needed another person. Because to... why do you why do you go to the cap? Do you go for the for the food, or you don't go for the service? Why do you right. Know? What's your motivation? Sure. I mean, but I ain't gonna lie. I give more leeway, uh, especially yeah. if I know that this is a new restaurant, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And because you're black, I'm, I ain't afraid to say it. You, you get right. a little bit more leeway. I know it's harder to be a a black. The business, mm-hmm. you know, loans and all this kind of stuff, the things that hold us back. Mm-hmm. I know it's diff- It's more difficult for us. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to be an asshole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, in, you know. <laughs> I, I, I also wasn't a fan of, like, the whole... Because she was trying to say that, like, the agents support agents regardless. And I think they do. I think that no matter how bad an agent... No matter how bad an agent experience that it is an establishment... They're not gonna go to a black establishment because they Asian experience is Asian experience. Excuse me. Hey, that's really man. Because their Asian experience wasn't good, they're gonna go to another Asian restaurant. Uh, Jewish people aren't gonna go to a black establishment because the Jewish experience was bad. They're gonna go to another Jewish Jewish establishment. Same with white people. But if black folks don't get it from the door, again, like to my earlier point, like we expect just the God level tier from somebody who's just starting out, and if we get anything less than that. Then you know we, our money is better spent, better spent elsewhere, um, yeah. and we have to again like give ourselves the grace we give other races, other people, other things, yeah. and we don't, we really don't. Yeah, we do high, uh, hold ourselves to like a very, very that is true. higher standard. That is true. Sometimes yeah. it's unreasonable standard. Yeah, of course, for sure. You know, I'm, I'm I'm not even sure if I entirely agree with the idea that. Asians support Asians or Jews only support other Jews as far as what I've seen in my experience like for me what I've seen is like the Asians that support Asians are usually f- 
family. Mm. So that's the main difference that I've seen. Like, it's not I'm an Asian supporting another Asian. I'm an Asian supporting my brother's business. That's what I've seen. So do you feel like it's more... Because it can't be all... They can't all be related. So it's like... Do you feel like it's just the camaraderie of the uh, of the neighborhood? I think and again, it's, it's like it's trying to racism. So it's like they may not be my brother. That's yeah. my that's my 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 best friend's brother's cousin uncle. I'm going to them. Yeah, because yeah, that because yeah, yeah. that is closer closer. Yeah. But as again, the internal racism thing that could be my cousin's uncle, brother, whatever. I'm not going to him. Oh, don't be like that. If I had a rock, I'll bust your head, bitch. He's, he's yeah, true. yeah. I think that there's a. Uh, there's definitely a different level of camaraderie there, yeah. but I think that has more to do with their family orientation okay. than our than, and the lack of the family orientation in our community. And do you think that's do you think that's a, a race thing? Like you think it's because we're black, we have I mean, you know, it's like a cultural race. thing, right? Right. So it's, it's like slavery broke us up as as, as you know what generations and a pop out in the prison, yeah, and that's that, why we don't have that. That definitely plays a, a big part. That's systematic race, definitely a big part of it, in that our fat even even. When our families are big, we don't really own too many things. Right. So we, we don't have the option to support our uncle's business. Right. You know. But with them, it's like, especially if they're like immigrants, they'll come over, all live in one house, mm -hmm. or stay in a, a place above the business, and we see all of the Asian people in there, and we assume that, oh, these are Asians supporting Asians. And it's like, no, this is a family, and this is a family business, mm -hmm. is what it, what it actually is. And there's a, there's just a lot of that, I think, in different areas. It's like a whole bunch of uh, Iranians or a whole bunch of Asians in one spot, and they are just a family. And the outside looking in, it looks like, well, is this bunch of Asians supporting other Asians, and why don't black people do that? And it's like, no, we're missing the point that they're related to each other. Mm. That's why it works. That's and that's the part that we are missing. We're missing that family relation where we all support each other by blood, you know. At least that's the way that I see it. Good for you. You're wrong. I, See, he, I could made be a, wrong. he made a point about like hiring white women because they smile, and you work in IT. Yeah. Just, to, just to understand. It's like, do you feel like <laughs> your blackness helped you in it, hurt you in it? Do you think you had to be at the cold switch? Did you smile? Did you sing a little dance? Or like, was that hard for you to make the transition to do that? No, it wasn't. Um, thankfully, I'm in a environment where I don't experience like you know racism or anything like that. Um, do I have to code switch? No, I I kind of just be myself. Really, we have like a a very healthy work culture where I work at, so I'm mostly just myself. <laughs> and they allow that. Okay yeah, I mean, I try not to. I I, I dial back. My Certain New Orleans. Uh, yeah. Hey, say, say, uh, <laughs> I don't be like, hey, what's yeah. that, baby? Ooh, Ooh, man, you know, like, you got the water then, huh? You got the go ticket. Go you buy your par you know. <laughs> you your ticket or whatever. Right. Yeah, I don't be doing all that because I got to still yeah. be professional, uh -huh. you know. But nah, it, it, it's been a, it was, it was cool. It's cool. 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 Final thoughts, anyone? Support black business. I like this guy. Boom. <laughs> Enough said. No. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 how I feel, bro. Yeah. Uh, my final thoughts is, um, you gonna? We need to support us. You know what I'm saying? It, I know you you talked about uh, Asians. I don't know why you brought up Iranians. Uh, that, that was just threw me for in, a my, loop. in my mind. I was thinking about that. Was, that all right, have a <laughs> in my mind, head <laughs> <I don't laughs> <know>. ass. Doctor Brown would hide it from me. Thank you. In my mind? No. All right. Oh. But it's over head to head. She was in that. She was not. What? <laughs> no, bro. Hell no, my nigga. <laughs> <You're a wallet. laughs> but anywho as i would say um if we 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 don't we're not like blood related but i still feel like we're family because we're black mm. that's just point blank period that's what that's written on my heart mm. you know what i'm saying i see you a black person man woman whatever else what's up 
Yeah. All right. What can I? What can I buy from you? What you selling? But you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying to do some business. All right. All right. Yeah. You know, legit business. Don't come in the street, please. Don't ask me to buy a watch on the street. Street. I mean, like actual business. Like yeah, actual, actual business. Want, please, I'm not buying a North Beach. Right. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. Give me. Reckless. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I want to be clear. I want to be clear. Yeah, we all agree with that. Yeah. yeah, you don't want the dude that opened up the <laughs> Got something that might interest you. <laughs> I got watches. I got two brushes to sell. Got cheeseburgers. Why they all out of the pack? What are you doing? There's toothpaste on. No, yeah, for real, for real businesses, um, I'm all for it. And we, we do need a, a cultural shift that leads us towards supporting each other like other uh, races and ethnicities, whatever you want to call it. I would like to see that, um, but we got to be open to critique. Right. You know, a lot of people are passionate about their, their business and stuff like that. You got to be equally as passionate about the feedback that you get. Fair assessment. For sure. I think my final thoughts is piggybacking on y'all's, like, supporting black businesses are important, especially ones getting their legs out from under them, because you'll never know how great that they can be until they are able to get there. Right. With that said, the only caveat I was add is that I want to support excellence at the same time. If there's a business that does a damn good job, you should support them because they do a damn good job, whether they're black or not. But maybe Quite we should possible. give our black businesses a little bit of chance to get to that point. Now, if they get there and they still ain't doing it, then I don't feel like you have any obligation, obligation to support a business that you don't like. For sure. Mm -hmm. Which I think is fair enough. That's really fair. But that's why I'm at with it. I think we all kind of have a similar agreements to that. But, but yeah. Anything else, fellas? I think that's our show, y'all. Thank you for Luther coming down and helping oh, us out oh, with this one. Oh. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know? Yeah. That. All of that. Please, all of that. Support but, that. <laughs> support <laughs> ignorance, please. But, uh, that's our show. I'm your host, B. Ryder. Co host, J. Bell. And this is Ben. Final, Final thoughts. thoughts. Take two. Yeah. Oh, fuck. oh my god, bro. Take three.